been up to? I've been riding on a date. Like always, 360 video. And how does the 360 video work? What you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're viewing it on a device that you can control your view, look around, do whatever you want, spin around, drag your mouse across your computer screen. Um, but more importantly, there's a gear setting down below, and that gear setting you need to change your quality to the highest quality that it'll allow. Should be like 4K, maybe 1440, something like that. Um, that way, the picture makes sense to you. But you're going to be able to control whatever you want to see around us, at us, on the ground, whatever. In the sky, at the birds, it doesn't make a difference. But this is going to be our park walkthrough, and we're not walking through the whole park, of the uh, park that we've been staying at for the last week. And this is unlike any park that you've been to before, I'm sure. This is what used to be an old fish camp. Uh, that has been around since the 50s, and it is called, I'll let Heidi give you the fill down. Half Shell Resort. Resort is a loose term. Um, this is a, a nice campground, uh, but to get it to show up on searches, sometimes you have to list it as a resort. So what you're seeing around us is a lot of more than seasonal, more like permanent, there's about 50% permanent. Yeah, and the deal is, is the permanent campers, um, they're all working construction or something because when they all come back, it's all at the same time, and they're all well in, wearing yellow shirts. So off in the distance um, is a, a, a lake. Now, they've got some sort of solar project they're doing over there. We're not gonna go over there and interfere with that. And this park is so small, this is gonna be one of the shortest walkthroughs you've ever seen. Okeechobee was pretty small too. So off to my left, um, but basically over here where this ATV is, that's one loop that comes around to here. And you can see there's some open RV sites that are behind us. There were some people here when we first moved in. Then this over here, uh, and I'm looking across from me, so where this Winnebago starts at, if you guys want to flip around and see that. So um, that little mini no, it's not Traveling Robert. <laughs> um, that's a loop that goes all the way down around and comes out down near the uh, boat ramp entrance, which we're going to go down there and show you that also. And then, of course, um, this road here is the main road. There's only one main road that comes in. You don't have to be confused. It's very simple. Um, that goes to the office. So when you come in, you're basically uh, going to pull up and uh, you can stop in this area if you want, but I went all the way down and pulled in front of the office and then checked in at the office and then they gave us our site. Uh, any direction on the roads, any way you want to go, there's, there's no, no arrows or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and start walking through the, this little tiny park <laughs> and you're going to find that the RVs here are rather old. Uh, they've been here for a while, some of them and they don't have any requirements as far as you being in this park. Um, yet. Yet, yet. Um, it's very inexpensive. As it stands right now, it costs roughly $500 a month to stay here. And that's including electricity at this point. So for $500 a month, you can have full hookups. They have 50 and 30 amp and sewer, obviously. Uh, the water's okay, um, it's well water. But once we put it through our softeners, it's not that bad. There's a shower house, which is up here to the left. Yeah, as we're. And laundry. Yeah, as your Heidi just pointed out, the place here that we're coming up to, um, this is the women's restroom on this side. I believe the men's is on the other. But uh, to the end of it, there's a screened in room. That's the laundry room. Do you want to go in and show them the showers or? Nah. Nah. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty standard. Um, I can if you want me to. A lot of the residents use this. Here, I'll go in. Oh, I can go through here. Here's the men's. So this is the men's side of everything. And again, um, this place has been around since the 50s, but you can see they keep it relatively clean, and it's nice. Um, you're looking at 
just the shower and the, 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 the commode in here. This is your private room when you want to use the shower. You, you come in, you close the door, you put the little latch down, and that's it. Um, very basic. You can. I, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, I don't know, that's really run down in that. It's not that way. It really isn't. Um, it's clean in here. Everything smells very clean. And then as far as the laundry room, Heidi will take you down and show you that. I'll hand it off. Okay. I believe there's a couple dryers and three washers in here. Um, like we said, uh, it's a work in progress, but you can do your laundry here. Um, buck seventy-five, and a buck seventy-five to wash, a buck seventy-five to dry. Yeah, so th we're going to give you some history here of what this place has been like over the years, and the new owners. Uh, they've they've been owners here for a while now. I think for about the past what three years, three years, three or, or so. four years, and they're making lots of changes. And it's tough. It's a tough gig. This used to be a restaurant years ago. At again, this used to be a fish camp. This used to be the restaurant, and I guess they had some of the best catfish back in the '60s uh, that everybody used to come down for. But. This is the other big bonus, and I think makes this whole park worth it. And that is, there's a uh, marina down here. You can get yourself a boat slip. They have power, they have water at each of the boat slips out here. And you can pretty much stay on your boat if you wanted to. <laughs> so if you're traveling, this is a nice place to, to lay over at. Um, it's not far from, what do we have, a Dollar General across the street? Gas station. Um, gas station. Mexican restaurant. Yep. Uh, there's a bar. Yep. And there's a thrift store. And uh, there's uh, across the street there is like a flea market. Yes. Right. Yep. They got a little flea market, uh, produce market, but I did see some flea market items too. So as far as when you're staying here, when you're at this campground, you can fish, as we'll show you here, off of all of this area. Um, Heidi and I were down here the other night. She swears she heard a gator out here grunting. And it is the St. John's River, so that's a good possibility. And it's mating season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but this is a beautiful area, and the sunsets at night are really nice. Um, it lights up the sky really in some weird ways, I'll tell you. So we'll go ahead and walk out on the, the dock here. And again, all this, they're doing what they can to get this up and running back to the level that they think there is, that they it should be. And you can see there's residents all down the bank here. I guarantee those people that own these houses over here are paying a lot more than $500 a month to enjoy this same water. <laughs> That's for sure. So if you were to come down here and stay for a period of time, I suggest you get a boat. I, I, if you guys don't understand or, or under, you know, really know what that's like, if you want to go to Jacksonville, you can do it from here, and it's not bad. You know, if you want to go to as far as Melbourne, Florida, uh, which you know is quite a bit south of here, you can do that from here on a boat. Now, some of these boats, just like some of the RVs, they don't have any regulation. They're not requiring anything specific. So these guys are definitely taking advantage of, you know, just letting their boats sit here in disrepair. Uh, I would like to see that change, but, you know, it, it works. It works for a reason. People don't all have deep pockets and they try to still enjoy themselves as much as possible. Now, we were here the other day and we got to see a manatee come through here, uh, which we'll post on a video, which if you guys haven't seen already, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. Today, the boat traffic isn't near like it was the other day. Yesterday, the boat traffic was crazy, but all this, 
all this is, is pretty darn enjoyable. And as far as a weekly stay, what was the rate for the weekly stay? I think it was 285. Yeah. Or 297. Yeah, it, it, 292, it wasn't somewhere. exactly cheap, yeah. but they it was knew cheaper it, than some places. It, it was cheaper than right, and and if you think about it, we could have stayed for a month, and only paid 500. Right. I mean, they discount heavily. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what this looked like. Uh, it's nice and relaxing out here. It doesn't get too crowded. No, we've only, the most I've ever seen out here as far as people, I think was three or four, inclu five including us, sorry. Yeah. Five including us. And it wasn't like they were out here on top of us. They were over there somewhere. But this is Half Shell RV Resort in Satsuma, Florida. Uh, it's real close to Palatka. Um, if you guys want to check out our videos, you can see the other stuff that we did in Palatka. Um, Palatka affords you kind of city living. So there's some city stuff you can do there, but we're in the country. I mean, there's no two ways about it. We're, we're really in the country and it's a different type of old Florida that I grew up around that I enjoy. So try to be a little bit kind on your thoughts on this place because it's kind of like a, a rough gym, rough hidden gym. No, it don't have a swimming pool. No, the laundry facilities aren't brand new. No, nothing is brand new. But you know what it does? It gives you the ability to just decompress, relax. And in our case, fish. We, we wanted to go fishing. And this was the best spot that I tell you the truth. I, I can't imagine a better spot. It's no frills camping with fish, with the area to fish. Yeah. And our electricity is fine. Yep. Our internet here with AT&T, um, with that uh, same thing I always talk about, that EasyCom, which of course is linked down in the description, that is fine. Um, been able to upload videos fine, watch um, movies, whatever we wanted on Roku. And um, as far as the electricity, no problems running both rooftop air conditioners. Uh, they were talking about their electric bill. <laughs> And that's pretty crazy. I didn't, I didn't think it was that much, did you? Oh, I knew with it. I mean, that's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. $68,000 a month, but yeah, it, it's, yeah. That, that is, in the, in the heat of the summer, I, they, she said it I mean, operates. you got to figure that each little site is, you know, hundred some dollars a month easily. Right. But man, $8,000 a month in utilities just for electric. I guess it's no different than having a home. Right. Um, you know, if you're on your individual accounts. Yeah. So uh, this is the boat launch over here. Uh, you come down where we just walked, launch your boat, and then you can pull out going out the opposite way. So as far as the resort, like I say, try to keep it kind. Um, Tony and Sandy are really working on this place yeah. daily. Um, I'm sure that they'll be making and changes. That is no, Heidi's not exaggerating at all. This is a thing that we see them working daily, every yeah. day. About. Uh, from when I get up, which isn't early, till uh, whenever it gets dark out. Yeah. They're always working on it. And they're making progress, but the, it's, a, it's a big chore. It's yeah. a big chore. And even with that said, I like it the way it is. Yeah. I really do. We had a really good time here. You can get your mail delivered here. You got to make sure you put your site number and your and, name and your name and just keep an eye on it, you know. Just just make sure if you're looking for a package like we did, keep an eye out for if it's coming, you know, UPS, look for the UPS truck. They come in here. If it's FedEx, look for the FedEx guy. Amazon. And I don't know if Amazon's I, I think UPS maybe delivers yeah, Amazon. Yeah, maybe. it's hard to tell how they how they handle that because of this area being so rural. Um, you are not going to Uber Eats here. You're, you're not going to DoorDash here. Um, but like Heidi said, there is a Mexican restaurant that's right at the end of the street. We ate there. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, and if you want, you just have to drive uh, About four, and four three, miles. Three and a half miles. And there's a, a Popeyes, a Burger King, a McDonald's. Uh, I think there's an Arby's. Yeah, and there's a grocery store. Oh yeah, definitely a grocery store too. Now that's going in, that's going north into Palatka. Now if you go south of here, there is a restaurant called Meemaw's 
and it's got really good reviews. I don't know how good the fruit is, but it's got really good reviews. But I'm gonna tell you that you're driving out even more country when you go in this direction. I think this place is gonna be pretty unspoiled for the most part, uh, just because there's a preserve when we were at the end of the dock that's all preserve that's out. If we could, if this dock continued to the other side of the uh, St. John's River, we could walk to the preserve and it's just untamed, untouched area out there for thousands of acres. So again, expect a little bit different coming to this kind of a campground, but I'm going to tell you right now, uh, we would definitely do it again. There's no doubt about it, especially if we feel like fishing and especially if we had a boat. So that's, that's it guys. Hopefully uh, this gave you a little bit of an insight to the park. And uh, if you decide to come down here, just tell um, Sandy that uh, Mike and Heidi from RV Daydream sent you. Uh, she, she's a nice lady. Um, and Tony's always willing to say hi every time he sees you. Yep. So that's it. Heidi will close it out. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. Bye.